Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, honoured guests, on behalf of the University of Maryland and the College of Behavioural and Social Sciences, I offer you an extremely warm welcome to the inaugural lecture of the third holder of the Baha'i Chair for World Peace, Professor Hoda Mahmoudi. Uh, my name is John Townsend. Uh, I'm the Dean of the College of Behavioural and Social Sciences. I should like to begin by thanking the very talented group of student musicians who have kindly and skillfully provided a suitable prelude to our proceedings. So please join me in thanking them. Also, on the same theme, I should like to acknowledge a special group of students who are helping with tonight's event, namely the BSOS Ambassadors. These volunteers assist us with the planning, coordination and execution of special events hosted by the College, and let us thank them as well for all their help. Thank you. Well, for the University of Maryland, with a new president who some of us have heard from and who very unfortunately just could not be here, even though he very much wanted to be, to be so, uh, this is a wonderful time for the University of, of Maryland. So many new things are, are, are happening. Above all, the Baha'i Chair for World Peace promotes global dialogue and understanding, as do our other colleges, other, uh, colleges, other endowed chairs, the Sadat Chair for Peace and Development, and the George and Lisa Sakem Khalil Gibran Chair for Values and, Pri and Peace. I'd like to acknowledge Professor Shibli Dalhami Dal in the audience. <laughs> Holder of the and of course our very own Professor Sahil Bashruri, who we'll be hearing from a little bit later. The existence of, of no fewer than three endowed peace chairs underscores the overarching mission of the College of Behavioural and Social Sciences, namely to identify viable solutions to the world's greatest challenges. The faculty, staff and students of our college act on this mission every day through our research, our partnerships, our teaching, our commitment to innovation and entrepreneurship and our active engagement with the wider world. Equally important, our college attempts to bring the wider world home to our campus by maintaining a remarkably diverse and rich group of departments, faculty, staff, students, alumni and collaborators. But even in our breadth and diversity, we as a college are unified in our desire to make a positive impact at local, national and indeed global levels. With respect to the role of the Baha'i Chair for World Peace, Every moment of transition, such as the installation of a new incumbent, is yet an op another opportunity to look forward. Shortly, Professor Mahmoudi will do just that by explaining her strategic vision that will guide the next cycle of the Baha'i Chair's development. Transitions also allow us to pause, glance back over our collective shoulder, and reflect on the nature of our journey and the pathways we have taken. In this regard, the distinguished speakers I will begin introducing momentarily belong to what can be called the founding generation of the Baha'i Chair. Together they embody the Chair's vital institutional history and living memory. I would like to acknowledge one facet of that memory in history. Since the inauguration of the Baha'i Chair for World Peace almost 20 years ago, the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of the United States has been a source of continuous wise advice and counsel to the successive holders of the chair as well as to the University of Maryland's leadership. The National Spiritual Assembly also has consistently provided the Baha'i chair with what, what can be called the sinews of scholarship, namely generous financial support. For these reasons and many more, I am deeply honoured that so many of the members of the National Spiritual Assembly are present with us tonight, and I would just ask them briefly to please stand and be acknowledged. If you would, the members would please stand. We are also very grateful that the Baha'i community is represented here tonight by another contingent of its most distinguished members, namely the Board of Continental Advisors, who is a body charged with assisting national Baha'i communities in their development. Uh, would you please also give them a very well-deserved round of applause. Would you please stand?
Please.